Okay, so welcome to math story, ah, and it's a big problem. So the seventh term of an arithmetic sequence is 25. Then the first term, third term, and 21st term form a geometric sequence. Then find the first term and the common difference of the term. So since this problem is an arithmetic sequence, and a sub one is the first term. So to find the second term, that's a sub 1 plus the common difference. Then for the third term, that's a sub 3 equals a sub 2 plus the common difference. Then since a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus the common difference, so substitute this equation to this a sub 2. So we have a sub 1 plus the common difference then plus this common difference. So therefore, we can find the third term using a sub 1 plus 2 times the common difference. Then for the fourth term, so that's a sub 3 plus the common difference. Then since a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 plus 2 times the common difference, so we can substitute this equation to a sub 3. So we have a sub 1 plus 2 times the common difference plus common difference. So therefore we can find the fourth term using a sub 1 plus 3 times the common difference. So therefore from a sub 1 and to find the fourth term that's a sub 1, then this 4, minus 1, that's positive 3, times the common difference. So using the 7th term from a sub 1, to find the 7th term, that's a sub 7. So we have a sub 1, then this 7, minus 1, that's positive 6 times the common difference then since the seventh term is 25 so we have 25 then transpose this positive 6d that's negative 6d equals a sub 1 so this is the first equation then from the third term so we have a sub 3 to the seventh term, that's a sub 7. So we have a sub 3, then this 7 minus 3, that's positive 4 times the common difference. Then since a sub 7 or the seventh term is equal to 25, then transpose this positive 4d, that's negative 4d, equals a sub 3, so this is for the second equation. Then for the 21st term, so we have a sub 21 to the 7th term, that's a sub 7. So we have a sub 21, then this 7 minus 21, that's negative 14, then times the common difference. Then since a sub 7 is 25 and transpose this negative 14d, that becomes positive 14d, then equals a sub 21. So this is now the third equation. Then since in the problem that the first term, third term, and 21st term form a geometric sequence, so to find the common ratio, that's the ratio of the two consecutive terms. So we have this a sub 3 over a sub 1 equals, so this a sub 21 over a sub 3. Then substitute now the values for a sub 3, a sub 21, and a sub 1. So for a sub 3, that's 25 minus 4d. So we have this 25 minus 4d. 
din over a sub 1. So, a sub 1 is 25 minus 60. So, we have this 25 minus 60. Then equals, so this a sub 21. So, a sub 21 is 45 plus 14d. So, this one is 25 plus 14d. Then over, this a sub 3, that's 25 minus 4d. Then to simplify, so do cross multiplication. So, multiply this 25 minus 4d times 25 minus 4d then equals multiply this 25 minus 6d times 25 plus 14d then simplify so use the foil method so this 25 times 25 that's 625 and 25 times negative 4 that's negative 100D. Then negative 4 times 25. That's negative 100D. And negative 4 times negative 4. That's positive 16D to the power 2. Then on this side, so 25 times 25. That's 625. 25 times 14. So we have 25 times 14, that's 350. So we have positive 350D. Then this negative 6 times 25, that's negative 150D. And negative 6 times 14, so negative 6 times 14, that's negative 84. So, we have negative 84d to the power 2. Then, simplify. So, combine like terms. So, we have this 625. Then, this negative 100 and negative 100. That's negative 200d. Then, plus 16d to the power 2. Then, equals. So, this 625. Then this positive 350 minus 150, that's positive 200D, then minus 84D to the power 2. Then equate this equation to 0. So transpose everything to the left side and arrange this equation to start with the highest exponent. So we have this 16d to the power 2 minus 200d, then plus 625. Then transpose this to the left, so this becomes negative 625. Transpose to the left, negative 200d, and transpose this to the left, that's positive. 84d to the power 2 then equals 0. Then combine like terms. So this 16d squared plus 84d squared. That's 100d to the power 2. Then this negative 200d and negative 200d. That's negative 400d. Then this positive 625 minus 625, this one is 0, then equal 0. Then we can reduce this equation because 100 and 400 divisible by 100. So this becomes d squared minus, so 400 divided by 100, that's 4d equal 0. Then to solve for d, so we can factor out D, so put D outside, so this becomes D, then minus, so since we put D outside, so this becomes 4, then equals 0. Then to solve for D, so equate these two factors to 0, so we have D equals 0, and the other one, D minus 4 equals 0. So to solve for D, 
So D equals transpose this negative 4, that becomes positive 4. Since the common difference is not equal to 0, so therefore the common difference is equal to positive 4. Then to solve for the first term, since a sub 1 is equal to 25 minus 6 times the common difference, so we have this a sub 1 equals 25 minus 6 times the common difference and the common difference is equal to 4. Then we have this 25 minus 6 times uh, 4. This one is 24. So therefore, the first term is equal to positive 1. So the common difference of this arithmetic sequence, so D that's equal to positive 4. And the first term, that's a sub 1, is equal to 1.